And then there was this other thing where she bent my legs behind my back. I, I mean, I don't know how she gets me to do it. I can't normally do that, but she'd do it. And then pour salt all over me. And then she'd call me her tasty little pretzel. And then she'd start biting me. It was weird at first, but I kind of grew to like. Okay, wait. Now, when are you going to get to the part that, I don't know, requires therapy? What? I'm pouring my heart out here, and that's what you tell me? Where did you learn to become a therapist? Oh, so we just met, and you have the nerve to complain about my methods? Who was that? My husband. Okay, sorry for the outburst, but all you've been talking about is weird sex stuff. It sounds like what you had with this girl isn't anything to cry about. Hey, our relationship was deeper than you think. I shouldn't have to bring up everything I know about her. I don't know everything about her. Like her favorite color, or what shows she likes, or what she does outside of work, or where she works. Heck, I always meet her at her place, but I didn't mind because it had all the lights and the EDM playing and the sex gear was always out. That sounds like a strip club. What? No! Oh no, you said sex toys. That's a kinky brothel. Her apartment is in a whorehouse! No. I think you just thought you were dating a sex worker and that her room was her house. I did not! Alright, tell me your name then. G Golly rocks. <laughs> telling you it's not like that, okay? I don't even pay her! <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, and our connection has got to be deep. I mean, why else would we be sharing cool tattoos? She also told me to call her Goldilocks because if I used her real name, which I can't even pronounce, I might go insane or something. <laughs> 